How long did it take and you to come out, Joan? It took some time because we left in the 60s and there was nothing out there. There was no internet. We had to do an awful lot of mm -hmm. research, first of all, to make sure that the organization was not God's organization. Yeah. And that's why the false prophecy bit really helped because that last sentence in Deuteronomy 18, 21 and 22, you shall not be afraid of them, that meant so much to us because they, they told us, you, you, you're gonna, something's going to happen to you on the way to California. That's really what, because you've left God's safety. So you, you're going to get it. So you first of all figured out that they claimed to be the channel for God, God's prophet speaking on earth, and, right. and basically everything went through them. And you found out they had given false information. Right. So they weren't God's organization. And then that started you saying all the other things that right. you were taught. What were all the other things? Well, everything, all the doctrinal, and, the, and of course the first and most important to us at that point was who is Jesus? Because if they lied to us about all the rest of it, when do you start believing? Jesus said you don't. You have a bad tree, you've got bad fruit, you want to throw it out. And basically that's what I did. I kind of cleaned out my brain and said, okay, let's read the Bible. Let's start at, at, at the beginning and find out where we were wrong and all the doctrines. And you Jesus found out was you could the go to heaven. Thing. You found out there was a real hell. You found out that the Holy Spirit could live inside of you. That's right. All of these, the, the Bible was Jesus God's was word. Jesus was in you, not in, in union with. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. uh, and, and realized how bad the translation was and how many times they had changed really vital scriptures mm -hmm. that, that told you who Jesus was. Yeah.